Hey there, it's me, Tracy, and um, I have to talk a little bit quietly because my daughter and my nephew are upstairs sleeping, and if I talk too loud, they're just going to wake up and it's going to um, be chaos. So anyways, um, I wanted to share with you how to ruin your own day. <laughs> um, this is something that I used to do a lot of, but anyways, I'm going to share with you guys how to actually not ruin your own day because sometimes we wake up in the morning and we have something happen to us or some things, you know, happen that could definitely ruin your day. Um, but I'm going to share with you guys how to let it ruin your day or how to let it make your day better. Before I do that, I just want to say huge, huge thank you to Layla Black because um, I am a really inconsistent person a lot of the times. Like when I say I'm going to do like a a 30-day challenge or a 90-day challenge or some kind of, you know, extended period of something, um, I tend to do like about three days of it. And then by the fourth day, I'm like, I, I just don't feel like doing it anymore. And on the fourth day of this challenge, I totally felt like that. Um, but it was late at night and I made the video. And then the fifth day, I kind of had a little bit of that feeling again. And, but I made it anyways because I told Layla I wasn't going to be a wussy. And um, <laughs> so anyways, it's now day seven and I can't believe I've made seven videos in a row. So um, Layla, thank you. Whatever magic you put like spell on me, it's working. Um, so I'm very grateful. But anyways, back to the whole how to ruin your own day thing. So the other day I'm sitting in a plane ready to fly from Toronto to Phoenix. And some of you know that we had a massive snowstorm. And um, I ended up sitting on the plane for three and a half hours at the gate for them to just keep telling us, oh, another hour, another hour, another hour. And at the three and a half hour mark, they said, oh, probably another two hours. So I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, five and a half hours sitting on this plane for a four hour plane ride, right? So Anyways, I was going, I was heading to Phoenix for an event that I was really excited about and I was really looking forward to. And then, you know, 10 minutes after they made the two hour announcement, they announced that the flight was canceled and there was so much snow in the city and all the other flights were being canceled. So the chances of me getting out that day were really, really slim and the event was the following day. So, um, what I did in those three hours that I was on the plane is I had actually downloaded um, some other training that Layla did. And, um, so I watched that in the three hours sitting at the gate, right? Which was good. So what I did is I took something that, you know, a lot of people would have got stressed out about or upset with, and I turned it into a learning, you know, a learning period of time for me. So I turned it into something good. And, um, but that's not the story I wanted to share with you. Um, the story I wanted to share with you was actually about, have you ever woke up in the morning with a pimple on your head? like on your face somewhere, like, like this one right here. Like I have this pimple that I woke up with this morning. And I'm sure that you have felt that before when you wake up in the morning and maybe it's a day when you got to make a video, right? <laughs> or maybe it's a day when you have to do a presentation or you're meeting somebody special or, you know, those pimples always come on the day when you want to have like nice clear skin, right? So anyways, um, have you ever had that <laughs> before <laughs> you wake up with a flipping pimple on your face? Well, um, here's what I do. When I see a pimple on my face, I look at that as the universe or actually not the universe. I look at it as my body sending me a message saying, you're not eating right lately. What's up with that? <laughs> Here you go. Zzz, little pimple on your face or big pimple on your face. And so, um, you know, a lot of people would be mad at it or upset, try to cover it all up and popping it and like doing all this crazy stuff to it, right? Um, you know, trying to get rid of this nasty thing on your face. And, you know, that's normal. You know, I do that too. Everyone does, I think. But, but really inside my head, what I'm thinking is, okay, I have this pimple and it's a message from my body telling me that I need to eat better. So obviously the last couple days, I probably ate something that was crappy like too much cheese or too much sugar or I don't know, like whatever it is that causes pimples. I know that, you know, it's the weekend. <laughs> I haven't been, you know, all, you know, green juicing and stuff. But anyways, um, so whenever you get um, something that's happening in your life, that's usually uncontrollable, right? Like it's not something that you did necessarily. Um, 
and uh, it seems to set your day off on the wrong foot, look for the lesson in that. Um, I know uh, for me, seeing a pimple on my face, the lesson is I'm not eating right. So I got to like smarten up. Um, but the other thing too is, you know, when I was on the plane, the lesson is, you know what? It's not the end of the world. It's, you know, take this time and use it productively. And that's what I did when I was on the plane. So have you ever had a situation where something really crappy happened in your day and you let it get to you and did it ruin the rest of your day? Did you let it ruin the rest of your day or did you look at it in through different eyes? Did you look at it, maybe there was a lesson in there or maybe there was another opportunity in there? Um, so just, it's kind of like, have you ever heard that, that saying um, where you put on different glasses, like different filtered glasses and you can see things one way or if you, which could lead down like having a bad day, or you could put these glasses on that have a totally different outlook and look at it with a different message, you know? Um, so anyways, two little stories that I share. If you've had an experience like this, please share down below, leave a comment. Um, if you've had an experience where you wake up in the morning and something's just set your odd day off totally wrong, and did you let it ruin your day or did you let it teach you something, right? Or did it let you look at something with different eyes, with different, with a different filter? Um, anyways, leave a comment and then uh, when you're done, subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out my blog at tracymatthewman.com and I will talk to you guys later.